I have defined already the uh, normal tangential coordinate system and uh, at any instant what is a tangential axis or normal axis and the definition of center of curvature and radius of curvature. So now we want to see if a particle is traveling along a curved path, uh, how could we describe its acceleration in, in this coordinate system, the normal tangential? So let's see if you have a, a particle traveling along a curved path like this. So this is the particle, say. So you guys remember that uh, the tangential axis at any instant is tangent to the path. So this is the t-axis. And the axis perpendicular, and meaning 90 degrees to the tangential axis would be the normal axis. And the positive axis is always within that curvature, inside the curve. So we also talked about the center of curvature, which is a point along the normal axis, and the radius of curvature denoted by rho. Uh, so this would be rho, the radius of that curvature. So this would be the radius of curvature, basically the radius of the curve at that instant. So now what I want to show you is how do we uh, describe the uh, acceleration in this coordinate system. So let me just erase the radius of curvature here and actually let's remove C also and let me put this axis back. Okay, so now uh, in general uh, acceleration has two components. So a component along the tangential axis either in the positive direction or pointing the other way in the negative direction. And then there is also a normal component of acceleration. Uh, so sorry, this is a sub t, and this would be a sub n. So the normal component of acceleration always points toward that center of curvature that I shown earlier. And then the magnitude of the uh, this acceleration would be the resultant of the two components. So if we try to add these two components vectorially, we get the magnitude of acceleration. So this is the magnitude. So like any two components that are perpendicular to one another, like x and y, here we have n and t. So a would be the square root of a n squared plus a t squared. The normal component is squared plus a, a tangential component is squared, and take the square root. Now let's define uh, what is tangential component and what is normal component. Now, a tangential component of acceleration is simply the rate of change of speed. So this is as a result of if the speed, the magnitude of the speed is changing. And the normal component of acceleration turns out to be equal to V squared divided by the radius of curvature. And this component of acceleration is due to change in the direction of the the velocity. So if you have a particle going along a curved path, at any instant the direction of the velocity keeps changing. It has to be tangent to the path. So as long as the direction is changing, you, we do have a normal acceleration. So a sub t is rate of change of the speed, and a sub n, which is a normal component of acceleration, is equal to v squared over rho. So for example, let's go to the next page. If at one instant we have a tangential component equal to, say, 4 meters per second squared, and we have a normal component which is equal to 3 meters per second squared, then the magnitude of this acceleration will be like that and would be square root of, say, 3 squared plus 4 squared, which would be equal to 5. So the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to 5.